Okay, 1995 to 1907 Lincoln Town Car. These will be the body side molding chrome inserts that fit around the entire car, both bumpers and all four doors. This is typically what they look like. We've seen hundreds and hundreds of these cars, and obviously this molding is awful. Uh, the only bit of chrome on these cars, and it looks just terrible. We have the same situation with Cadillacs from the same vintage, and have sell a complete set for those as well. Now with the Lincolns, it's nine pieces, and this is a high-quality crescent moon chrome new molding with 3M backed adhesive tape, basically the same way the factory installed them. What I'm going to do is show you basically how to how to replace these quick and and nicely uh, in a minimal amount of time. So this particular molding is the front door. Obviously, it would you'd be it would behoove you to leave this on the car, uh, as this is taped as well. We've removed this one for for demonstration purposes. So what we're going to do is these are the tools we're going to use and basically all I need is something to protect the molding itself of course unless it's going to be repainted and then a pry instrument to go down to one end in which I'm going to dig this under the corner and I'm going to back this up and pull this out as this slips in back behind there. So I pull this out and then just basically remove this molding. You can see this actually just comes right apart. Pull it out. There's the, there's the channel that we'll be replacing the molding in. So now what we want to do is try to get as much of this old adhesive line out, which you can either scrape or, in this case, a, uh, a hair dryer would be helpful. Anything that will soften it to help you get it out of there. Clean that out as best you can. Some rubbing alcohol to make sure it adheres good would be is always a good idea. And now we're going to go ahead and replace it. So we'll assume that I've gone ahead and cleaned this up. And now we're going to install our new molding. Again, from the back side, the molding actually sticks through on both ends. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our new molding, which comes with a protective film, and we're going to at least get that off for this front side as we're installing this and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull this tape this layer protectant off of this tape so it'll start to adhere so what we want to do is get that started come over here and go ahead and slip that underneath there a good half inch or what have you get it started then as we're going to come down we're going to remove the tape from the bottom side as we move along and go ahead and flatten this as we go into this channel nice and straight until we get to this end. So we'll get down to approximately, I don't know, six inches or so away. We'll pull this up, remove the rest of our backing tape, roll this back a little bit so that we can get that underneath that edge and it'll go ahead and relax and then smooth it out. And then we're going to go ahead and just make sure this is all down and adhered. This you'd want to be doing in at least 70 degrees. So you wouldn't want to be doing this if it's extremely cold. Um, it will make it much difficult. So temperature and cleanliness are the two most important things. And there's the beautiful chrome, which will make your car look absolutely fantastic once this is completed.